Hello, hello, friends. So today what we're going to do is we're going to work uh, on the max char uh, algorithm. Basically, it should be pretty straightforward. What we want to do is we're given a string, and we want to return which character repeats the most within that string. So I have two test cases down here I've already written out. Here's just a string of random numbers, or random letters, rather. The F appears five times, so it should return F. In this one, the D appears four times, so it should return D. So basically, given a string, we should iterate through that string and somehow figure out which characters, ugh, sorry, uh, which characters uh, repeat the most. So let's figure out how we would do that. First thing that we would need to do is make a like an object tree for the string that we're iterating through. Uh, the idea will basically be we'll have an object, we'll just call it chars, and it should read as such if uh, an A appears five times it should just be A5 and then if a B appears twice it should be B2. So, and then we can reference these uh, these keys and get their values. So we'll just call that, uh, let's just call it string object, string obj, and we'll equal it to an empty object to start out with. So now we'll have a loop that we can go through the string. So we'll go four, and in this one we'll just do use the for uh, of loop. So let char of str. So for each character within the string, what we want to do. So if uh, string obj at char exists, so if there's already a key value pair with the key of the character that we're iterating through, then all we want to do is take the string obj at character and increment it by one. And then else, if it does not exist, then we'll just go string obj at char and we'll initialize it at one because it'll be the first time this is happening. So real quick before we get far, let's uh, let's console log out our string obj and make sure everything's set up the way that it should be. So let's call uh, max char in string. I probably could have named that a little bit better. Uh, and we'll just do it with test case. And just for brevity's sake, I'll take these and I'll put them up here. Okay, so we should have um, node max, yeah, max char and string. Okay, so here's what we get returned. We have three A's, three B's, three C's, five F's, and four D's. So in this example that we ran test case it says it should return f because the f appears five times right here we have f at five okay cool so now what we need to be able to do is iterate through the string object and then return the the highest uh occurring element or key value pair rather so we'll do another for loop we'll go for let char and when you're iterating through an object unlike a string or array instead of a for of loop you have to use a for in loop so for char in string obj and char is just a variable name that we give it and we're going to need a couple of helper variables up here so we'll go let max equals uh, zero and then let max char equal an empty string. Come on now. Okay, so let's go back down here. We'll go if uh, string obj char is greater than max, so if it's bigger than the max that's already set, then we want to set max equal to string obj at char and then we want to set max char equal to the char 
and that should return. So that's the key, it should return the value because we're iterating through the keys. And then we'll just uh, console.log max jar down here. Okay, so since we're running on the test case, should return F if we copy this and run it with the test case 2, it should return D. So we should see F and D. Let's go to node, through this, and we got F and D. Cool, so it worked. Okay, so in this one, two things that you're doing is you're iterating at first through a string, so you're going to use the for of loop. And in this one, you're iterating through an object, so you're going to use the for in loop. Uh, those are the main two takeaways from this. This is a very standard uh, string manipulation algorithm, so hope you enjoyed it.